Kau nak cakap macam ni? Look, the process to move the patients to the main ICU um, went quite smoothly. Uh, it was completed this morning. Uh, we are grateful that uh, we've got a highly competent team in the facility led by uh, uh, Prof. Uh, Rudo Mativa, um, the head of uh, critical care here at Para. And uh, they were able to complete that process and um, uh, we're thankful for that because at least uh, the theatre, is, the, the, the ICU is, is, is back in operation. Uh, the maintenance there was, was, was completed yesterday in terms of replacing of the pipe that was uh, stolen. Uh, it's an unfortunate um, incident that I think um, when we look at it, uh, it's got all the hallmarks of uh, a, a, a people that are concerned that have, that have taken a concerted steps to undermine the the hard work of our healthcare workers in this particular facility but it looks like it's an effort to also sabotage you know um uh, uh, the work that we, the, the team has been doing this side because uh, when you look at that incident and the fact that uh, while the team was busy moving the patient back to the ICU, um, uh, main ICU, we then learned of a separate incident that happened this morning around 10 or so, where um, again in a separate plant um, that supplies two general, uh, surgical uh, theatres um, with, 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 with high pressure water for the autoclave to, system to be able to operate in those particular theatres. Um, we learned that uh, someone again tampered with the copper pipes supplying that particular area with, with, with water and therefore it meant that two of the 16 theatres in the facility had to cease operation for in the morning but fortunately uh, operations continued, the team was able to divert the patients to one of the other theatres and continued with the work. But it's very clear that the, the, there is a, an effort to sabotage, there is an, an effort to, I mean, it's, 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 it's tantamount to attempted murder. Uh, what would you gain uh, if you go and uh, you cut the water supply to theatres, uh, knowing very well that we need our autoclaves, we need to be able to sterilise the equipment that uh, the team is using in the theatres, we need to make sure that the temperature within the theatres is controlled, and you go there and you tamper with that kind of a system. Um, what would you gain if you go and you cut the oxygen supply to ICU, where you've got uh, a number of patients, many of whom are dependent on life support. We have the skills to treat these patients here. But when you take the essentials that we use to treat these patients away, an essential molecule like oxygen that you also need to live on, you take that away from us, what do you expect us to do for these helpless, vulnerable patients?